everyone? How's everyone doing today? So I hope everyone's doing well. So today I want to try this Tom Yum Cow Maggie Instant Noodle. Actually been very good lately. I haven't eaten instant noodle in like two days. Oh, my throat is getting really nasty because of all this. This is fried noodle. If you don't know how um, instant noodles are made, the reason why it's like this, it's dehydrated like this, is they fried it at extremely high temperature in oil so that it extracts all the water outside the noodle until it becomes solid like this so this is already cooked you guys this is already cooked mm, this and this is supposed to be astronaut food so that's why they have to do it like that anyway so it's very um cloudy and gray in sydney so i was craving something soupy um so what it what you have to do is just Okay, so it says just add hot water, wait for three minutes, stir and ready. Hold up. Okay, so do I need to go, do I need to put this all in this? So this instruction comes in two languages. Um, it says it's made in Malay. So I guess it has a Malay um, instruction as well so it kind of makes me feel confused I bought this at Woolies I think Tom Yum if you anyone doesn't know is a seafood soup based um, dish Thailand of Thailand is not of Malaysia so that's also a lot of confusion around that so if you're not familiar with Asian cuisine Tom Yum Khao is um, an, uh, traditionally a Thailand a Thai cuisine so I'm going to pour the pour the seasoning in. This actually is quite the seasoning is a lot, like it's thick and and it's red. I'm just gonna put it in there and then we're gonna wait how many minutes? Three minutes? And then we'll come back. We have to try the soup. Soup is where we try. Oh, should I mix it up? So it says like you should fill it up till that level. I didn't. I fill it up only up until that level. So whatever that is. So that level. And it's pretty soupy already and I learned from my other instant noodle experiences um, not to fill up too high in the cup because it will kind of dilute the flavor from the seasoning so if you like your flavor to be very strong try not to fill the water up too high okay it has it's a bit spicy but not as the usual you know the spicy Korean one it feels really good just because it's cold and it's raining outside so I think I did the right thing by not filling it up all the way um, to the top The soup flavor is quite um, rich. It's not as strong as you would get like if you in the restaurant, but hello, this is like a $3, $4 um, instant noodle. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Because it's not as strong as I wanted it to be. Like it just doesn't hit that spot. But maybe it's because I frequently eat Korean instant noodles, so my taste bud is catered more towards that flavoring. Doesn't have, does it have the seafoody? 
it's sour. So it does taste like tom yum cow. It does. Um, you can kind of have like a slithering nostalgia of <laughs> tom yum cow soup base. The noodles are pretty standard. It's not bouncy, it's not chewy. It's just thin and regular instant noodle type of noodle. Mm, I like the sourness of this. It's not sweet at all. You can taste the MSG for sure. Maybe if I added some fish balls, it would taste better. I also have like damuzi, which is yellow radish. So this is just fish balls. You can get this from a local um, Asian supermarket anyway. It costs about $4. And you get about, uh, it, it depends what you buy. But it usually costs about four or six dollars. So I'm just putting three balls in there. Fish balls are the best for me, anyway. So let's see if it improves the experience of these. Or not. It does. You probably want to heat up the, the fish balls first, actually. Because this soup is, um, Tom Yakao is like a seafood based soup. I know what's missing the taste of lemongrass. When you eat Thai cooking, especially with the soup based ones, they usually would have lemongrass, strong lemongrass flavor. And it is so delicious. It's what makes the soup feels very specifically Thai cuisine. And I can't detect. I kind of detect the lemongrass taste. It's still good though. I finished this, no problem. But yeah, so that's the test test done. Um, from here on, I'm just going to talk. I was talking about where I was making raisin art. So right now I'm, I'm waiting for this to dry. You'll see it up on the... Ah, not dry yet, I just freshly made that. So you will see this up in the channel soon. Um, I was talking in that video but I realized the video is much better if I just fast forward it <laughs> it's getting too long so I took out all the talking bit I was saying that I'm a bit stressed lately <laughs> But I feel like it's a self-induced stress. I need to do my tax and I feel I need to get a tax agent to do my tax this year and the year after. But I don't know how to go about it. I mean like I want to get a tax agent where I don't have to switch next year. 
where I cannot believe I'm going to say this, where I can develop a relationship with, like a professional relationship with. Someone I can randomly ask, hey, this is about, this has just happened. Um, is this okay? Like, you know, if something happens to, you know, my, my online stuff. And I'm completely lost. <sighs> I sent out an email to this place where I used to apply for a job. Not for a job, but for like, um, to get some idea of whether they take a new client or not when it comes to tax. I used to work as a tax, a, a junior tax accountant, which means like I don't have my CA yet, which is my chartered accountancy. Um, but I have a, a degree in accounting. I quit after my mom died. So I don't really know a lot about tax because I didn't work long enough to to be you know to be aware of what needs to be done and stuff. In short, I'm basically the same as the other lay person in the in the on the street out there. So I sent an email and I haven't really heard back. It was like two days ago and I'm thinking, oh, did I offend them? I'm so afraid that I'm offending them by asking them whether they do like a personal tax return or not. Because, you know, sometimes firms are really big. Like the one that I used to work for was uh, a mid-sized firm. So they don't do personal tax return. Like you have to go to the regular H&R box to do that. But from what I read, from what I read online, HR blocks have like a high turnovers. I think like um, the people that goes to work there are most likely, they just want to start their tax career and then use that as stepping stone. They don't, they don't stay there for a long time. I kind of want to go back to the person again and again and right now I'm a bit embarrassed to I don't know I feel like I have a lot of shame asking for help in this regard because I don't have a lot of money to pay for the tax to be done in a thorough manner, you know, it probably just going to be a very generic thing. But at the same time, I'm afraid that, you know, my income will grow a lot. In the next few years. But I really don't want to be moving from one tax agent to another. like a chat with them in more depth when it comes to like how to handle the tax aspect of the business as well but my profit is still extremely low right now that I feel like I don't think anyone will take me up on it because feel like all the profit is going to be paying for that advice which is not sensical at all because I gotta eat still like professional services are very expensive given it's not it's not as expensive as the tradies like once they come in for 15 minutes $300 you place the the dryer $200 Australia value brawn over brain actually, which is not great, 
because you want people that have brains to keep on working and make more money and pay taxes but if you can't make money if your if your services are not being valued what's the point what's the point of studying nine years eight years while a tradie can just do a six months and get paid three hundred dollars an hour no three hundred dollars per visit like doesn't make sense I really like the sourness of this actually and I like the fact that the spicy this is not it's not too much I don't know if you're white this just might be too much but uh, someone eats those bulldog ramen Korean ones this is not spicy Anyway, <laughs> now it's good to warm my belly up. It's really raining and gray outside. I ate like sausage, some sausages before, but I felt like I want something soupy. And I remember I still have these. Which is perfect because it's spicy too. Anyway, that's it for today guys. Thank you for listening to me um, ramble a bit about my stress. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I know this is a bit too late. Probably no one actually watches till this far. But if you like a uh, Asian or Australian snack or instant food type of reviews, um, that's what I do currently in the channel as in what month is this september 2020 it can change in the future for sure but for right now that's what i'm doing most of the time so sometimes we also do random stuff like making that raisin things uh, that probably gonna come up in the channel sometime soon um yeah big subscribe and like it will help the channel a lot and i will see you guys later bye everyone